Hello everyone and welcome to or back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. My name is Tachi. For today's video, I'm so excited to be sharing with you my yoga flow. This has been something that has helped me through good times, bad times. It has been a staple in my life. It is a very supportive practice that has helped me cope with various situations, the breath work, the body movement, everything coupled together, uh, connecting mind, body, and spirit has been very beneficial to my life and so I thought what better time to share this than now. This is going to be a very easy flow that you guys can follow along at home. So excited to have my mom here for this video because she is an incredible yoga instructor who's been practicing yoga for over 30 years. So hi everyone, I'm Tachi's mom. This is my mom Vicina and she is an incredible yoga instructor, has really really helped me fall in love with yoga and understand that yoga is so much more than just movement. And all the physical benefits is a plus, but the important thing is the breath work. So we feel that collectively the anxiety level of all of us as a globe has been very high so we thought why not share this practice with you to center yourself get some breathing in and um, also move your body. And also practice implies repetition. So do this practice with Tachi. You can watch it however many times you want. Do it once a day, once a week, however many times you can. After this, if we want Tachi, we can do other sequences and other practices. If you like this type of video, you want us to do other types of sequences, other types of practices, um, we can do that for you as well. Alrighty everybody, we're going to begin in a simple cross-leg position called Sukhasana. If you're tight, you can sit on a bolster like me to elevate your hips above your knees. This allows your hips to open freely without injuring your knees and this way you can also sit up straight. We're going to take a few breaths here just to center ourselves before we get into our practice. The system of breathing is called ujjayi breath. We're going to seal our lips and take steady inhales through the nose and steady even exhales through the nose as well. Picture your nostrils as two straws and evenly sift the air through your nose. Gently constrict the back of your throat and create an ocean-like sound audible to yourself. four and five. Now you can go ahead and move those pills to the side and let's begin. We're going to begin in child's pose, Balasana. So come onto your knees, open them to the width of your shoulders, and now allow your torso to evenly rest on your legs. Bring your arms back and allow your elbows to relax. Tuck your chin and bring your forehead to the ground. Let's take a few breaths here. Your sits bones should be going towards the ground and your back should be completely rounded, fully relaxed. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. On your next inhale, come up to your hands and knees and place your hands directly under your shoulders. Your knees should also be directly under your hips. Flowing now into some cat-cow movements, inhale, look up, arch your back, and synchronize your tail and head to arrive at the top together. Good, now exhale, rounding your back, bringing your head down, tucking your tail, and arriving at the bottom together as well synchronized even movements inhale and exhale warming up the spine bringing movement and flow into the body and breathing evenly on your next inhale we're going to set up for downward facing dog inhale look up tuck your toes and exhale push back into downward facing dog so the focus of downward facing dog is to open your back and stretch every little vertebrae. 
So the reason my mom has me bend my knees is because, and as the majority of us do, my hips and hamstrings are very tight. So in order to straighten my back and do the stretch correctly, I have to bend my knees. But if you're more flexible than me, feel free to straighten your legs, but only if you can keep your back straight as well. So once you're here, take a look at your hands and make sure your fingers are spread evenly. We're going to focus our weight to the inner triads of our hands in order to protect our wrists. So feel your weight shifted to the space between your thumb and index finger. Relax your face, neck, and head and breathe. Inhale, exhale. Bending your knees now and coming back into child's pose. Again, relaxing your arms back fully and resting here. At any time in the practice, if you feel overwhelmed or like you just want to rest, you can come back to this pose. On your next inhale, come up to your hands and knees and place your hands directly under your shoulders. Inhale, look up and exhale, pushing back to downward facing dog. Taking a few more breaths here, making sure of course that your weight is on the inner triads of your hands and stretching, stretching, strengthening as much as you can. Now we're moving in to our first foot position, which is Vajrasana. So we're gonna begin on our knees, tuck our toes, and use our hands to push your ankles towards one another. Sit back onto your feet, and if you have pain in your knees, you can put a pillow between your butt and your legs. However, if you have pain in your feet, I'm very sorry. Welcome to my world. Let's open up our feet together. We're gonna stay here for about 30 seconds, allowing our feet to open and just, you know, relax as much as you can. If there's too much pain, you can put your hands beside you. All right, good job. That was 30 seconds. Now lean forward, untuck your feet, hold your ankles and sit back. We're going to breathe here for another 30 seconds. All right, we're gonna come to a standing position. Inhale, look up. Exhale, push back to downward dog. Exhale all of your air. And on the next inhale, walk your feet to your hands. Look up halfway, straight back. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, coming to standing, vertebrae by vertebrae. Bring your arms up, touch, look up. Exhale, samastitihi equal standing pose or tadasana, mountain pose. Take a moment here, pressing your feet into the ground, lifting your arches and rolling your inner thighs towards one another. Take your belly in, ribs in, shoulders back, arms relaxed and breathe. Vinyasa simply means breath and movement together. Inhale, lift your arms, look up, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, look up halfway, Exhale, set your hands, step back, look forward, elbows in, coming all the way to the ground. And inhale, cobra, stretching that upper part of your back. Exhale, pushing back to downward facing dog. We're going to take five breaths here. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Three. 
four. Exhale all your air. Inhale, step your feet to your hands, look up halfway, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, coming all the way up, arms to the side, look up, hands touch, exhale, samastitihi. Again, breath to movement. Inhale, look up, hands touch, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, leg straight, back straight, halfway, and exhale, forward fold. Push back into plank. Shift two inches forward, elbows in, Chataranga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog, and exhale, downward facing dog. A few breaths here. Two. Three. Four. Five. Inhale, step, walk, or float your feet to your hands. Look up halfway, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, coming all the way up now. Look up, hands touch, exhale, samastitihi. Hands up, look up, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway up, exhale, step back, look forward, chataranga dandasana. Inhale, Upward facing dog and exhale, downward facing dog. Breathing here again, ribs in, hands pressed, arms straight, back straight, buttocks to the sky and relax and breathe. On your next inhale, stepping your feet to your hands, look up halfway, forward fold and all the way up, hands up, look up, Exhale, samastitihi. Good job. You should be breathing, maybe even sweating. Bring your hands to your heart center. Close your eyes and take a few breaths here. And say a little thank you, body. Thanks for uh, doing this for me. All right, we're going to move into some standing poses. These are really good to open up your hamstrings, hips, the whole shebang. We're gonna start with triangle pose. Step your right foot forward equal to the length of one of your legs, so nice and wide. Your front foot is parallel to the long side of your mat and your back foot is turned slightly inwards. Make sure you're pressing through the ball of your front foot, lifting your arch, aligning your foot, knee, and hip, and engaging both quads. The back edge of your back foot should be sealed to the ground. Place a block or a stack of books in between your front foot and knee. Inhale, arms out to the side now, and exhale, reach forward as much as you can and place your hand on the block. Place your back hand on your hip and check your alignment. Pressing both your feet evenly, ironing the back edge of your back foot down, engaging your quads like you never have before, Take in your belly, create space within your hips, and float that arm up towards the sky. Take a few breaths here. Stretching, stretching. Good job, guys. All right, other side. Left foot out and right foot in. Ironing out the back edge of your back foot, straightening your legs, engaging your quads, Arms out straight, bending forward, and placing your left hand on the block. Checking your alignment, checking that your quads are engaged, and don't forget to breathe, of course. And when you feel ready, you can float that top hand up to the sky. A few breaths here. All right, coming back up now, we are going to move into the next lunge. So go ahead and bring your block to the top of your mat and place that right where your front foot is. Now with your feet wide, bend your front leg to 90 degrees, opening your hips up to the side. So we're no longer facing the top of our mat, instead we're facing the side. So our hips are open, so our back leg is straight, our front leg is bent to 90 degrees. 
Seal the back edge of your back foot down and place your hand to the block. With your front hand on the block, gently use your elbow to press your front knee back, tucking the pelvis under to create an outer rotation of the right hip. Straighten and strengthen that left leg, and if you want, you can float your arm overhead. And breathe, and breathe, always breathe. Alrighty, inhale and tick tock those arms back up, coming up just as we came down and switching to the other side. Beautiful, placing that block at the top of the other side of your mat, bending your left knee to 90 degrees, sealing the back edge of your back foot to the ground, straightening your back leg, and feeling that stretch as you tuck your pelvis and outwardly rotate your left hip. You should feel a really nice deep stretch along that long side of your body as well as both of your hips as they begin to open. Good job you guys, coming back up now. Next we're moving into wide leg forward bend. Bring your legs wide, flex your quads, hands to your hips, pelvis tucked, inhale, look up, exhale, forward bend. Place your hands below your shoulders, relax your head, and stretch those hamstrings. And of course, if you guys have extra time, pause this video and hold these postures for longer. The longer you hold them, the better. About 30 seconds to a minute for each posture is really going to improve your practice. I, of course, just didn't wanna hold them too long in this video because I didn't wanna make this video too long and I wanted to make it easy to follow along. But if you have the extra time, hold it longer. Good job, you guys, coming back up now. Okay, so now we are going to come to our backs and do some simple hip openers. So first is simple cross leg on your back. So go ahead and bring your right knee to your chest and then place your right ankle below your left knee. Reach your arms through and grab the back of your thigh. If you're a bit more flexible, you can reach for your shin. So this, you should feel a really good, nice stretch in your outer right hip. It should feel delicious. These you should do every single day, even if you can't fit in a full practice, these are so good for you. So a few breaths here, and as I said again, if you have more time, pause the video and hold the positions longer. Also wanna mention that you should never push on your knee directly because that can hurt your knee, and you want the flexibility to come from your hips, so this really needs to be a rotation of the hips and a stretch for the hips. All right, same thing on the other side, crossing your left foot onto your right leg, uh, placing your ankle below your knee, reaching for the thigh or shin, and flexing your feet. Also, if any of this is too much of a strain on your back and neck, you can put a little pillow below your head. All right, so next hip opener on your back is Gomukhasana. Cross your right leg on top of your left leg, reach for your shins, not your feet, and gently pull your knees towards your chest and your feet towards your hips. You should feel this mostly in the outer hip of the leg on top. It should feel really, really nice as well and just be very relaxing. So just take a few breaths here and embrace this little hip opening magic. Gently release your hands from your legs and switch to the other side.
All right, so now we're going to uncross our legs. Hug your knees and release your left leg to the floor. Gently twist your right leg towards your left side and look the opposite way. So this is just a simple little twist. And also I wanna iterate that the important thing here is that your shoulders are down. So if your knee isn't all the way to the floor, that's completely okay. This is just a nice twist for the organs, ringing out those organs, ringing out everything and just relaxing. So take a few breaths here. All right, same thing on the other side. Finally, giving yourself a big hug, squeezing those knees to your chest, and releasing to the ground for Shavasana. This posture is what we just spent the last 20 minutes preparing for. A meditative posture to soak in all the work we've just done. Take a moment to relax your entire body. Stop controlling your breath, let your legs flop to the side, and let your arms open, palms to the sky, and take at least three minutes in this pose. Soak up all that yumminess and all that love you've just given your body, mind, and soul. If you have more time, you can stay here, do a quick meditation, and if not, gently wiggle your fingers and your toes, slowly turning to the right or left and using your arm as a pillow. Once you're ready, slowly push yourself up to a comfortable seated position bringing your head up last. Finally, bring your hands to prayer in front of your heart and you're done. Namaste, everyone. Good job, you guys. Namaste. I hope you enjoyed the practice. All right, you guys, you have made it to the end of the practice. Good job to everyone who was following along. And we just want to remind you that this is a very beginner's yoga flow and it's just kind of scratching the surface of what yoga is. So happy that you're all going to join Tachi on this practice. It means the world to me and I'm getting all emotional. <laughs> and just remember, it's not about how you look in the poses. It's about the breath. So keep breathing through the practice, keep doing it. Practice implies repetition. It's a lifelong practice. It takes time to learn. So don't worry about how you look like on them. Just keep breathing, keep doing it. And as Rumi said, how can you get the pay if you haven't done the work? True so that. Do your work and all is coming. Thank you. I hope you guys all enjoyed. And if you want to follow us on our social medias, mine is all Tringsby. You can follow my mom if you want, Matita Rigsby. And I love you all and I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to go drink a glass of water.